Colorado is home to many top-notch organizations, including one of the leading equine assisted services programs in the world, the Temple Grandin Equine Center. The hub for the Temple Grandin Equine Center, that's up in Fort Collins. But right back behind me, here in Denver, that's the second location and is brand new. The Denver location started back in 2017, but these new doors just opened to the community January 7th. People that come to um, do therapy here, they don't really realize that they're doing therapy because it's so much fun. The three-story Vita building at the CSU Spur campus is now home to seven horses and 250 therapy sessions a week, helping both children and adults with varying disabilities and health conditions. I want to help kids get out and be successful. And horses is definitely one of those avenues that can help kids be successful. Temple Grandin is CSU's famed animal science professor, autism advocate, and the inspiration behind this while going forward. When I was in high school, I was bullied, tortured, and one of the few places where I had a refuge and I had friends was riding horses. She recognized the transformative effect that horses had on herself and then put it to work to help others. So we adapt the way that we teach riding skills and then we also adapt the equipment that we use to be able to teach people with disabilities how to ride. The horse is used in these therapies and services because of its movement. It's exactly like ours while we walk. And then we also can use the horse for um, equine assisted psychotherapy which is really good because they help us to learn uh, nonverbal communication, um, you know, boundaries, spatial awareness, and all of that. And the horse's power reaches well past the arena. There's also interactive education for the public and space for students to not only work, but live on site, which the research they are continuing to work on has already proven worthy. The initial findings of our equine assisted occupational therapy is that the equine assisted services is helping youth with autism self-regulate um, either um, longer self-regulation or more often self-regulation but is providing uh, more of a functional skill and a better outcome than traditional occupational therapy. And all of that is just the beginning of what can be done here. I'm just so pleased that you know CSU has done this and I'm thinking about you know, children that this is going to help, uh, and veterans that's going to help, you know, many different people.